Well, Fred, uh, I guess you have heard all the news. You mean about uh, Andy and the widow? Yes, that's pretty tough luck. I was just coming over to talk to Andy about it. Uh, sorry that he ain't here. Well, both Amos and Andy is out right now, Kingfish. They ought to be in pretty soon, though. I guess Andy is a little upset. He's a little up in the air right now. You know Andy had his horse set on with a parker, but everybody told him that he had to look out. But you know Andy is the kind of fella that you can't tell nothing to. He is the kind of boy that thinks he knows it all. Well, these love affairs, they all has the ups and downs, they say. Don't you want to come in the parlor, King Fish, and sit down a while? It ain't no use to stand out here in the hall. No, no, just I'll be going along, Fred. Well, tell me, King Fish, uh, they say this man Watkins has got a lot of money. Well, they say that he got a lot of money. You know, every time he comes to town here, he spends a lot of money. I guess he is worth a little money. You know, Andy got a letter from the widow, and it almost broke Andy's heart. Well, we all told him, though, Fred. You know I have known this gal Lulu for 15 or 16 years. She done broke a lot of hearts in her days. Don't tell Andy that I told you this, King Chase, but when Andy got that letter, he come home and he went in his room by himself, and I went in there to see him about something, and it looked to me like he was crying a little bit. Yes, I guess he has been. I, I come over to cheer him up tonight. What do you reckon got into the widow to make a change of mind like that? Well, Fred, to tell you the truth, I hear that on account of Andy trying to sell the widow's papa, that stock in the taxi cab company caused the whole thing. Well, how could that make the widow change her mind? Well, the way I guess it, Fred, Andy made the old man mad, and he told the widow that, uh, that, uh, Andy was broke flat, you see, and then this man Watkins just happened to come to town. You know how them things happen. Yeah, I know Andy is broke, all right. I know that. He owes me three weeks' room rent. Well, that'll be the best thing that's ever happened to Andy. Break up with that gal. Well, he'll pull herself together, I guess. We all been through the same thing, Kingfish, when we was young. Yes, you're right, Fred. Well, guess I'll be going. Come down to the Lord's Hall sometime, Fred. Well, to tell you the truth, Kingfish, I'm kind of ashamed to come down there. I was so far behind in my duty. Well, don't let that stop you, Fred. A few of the other boys down there ain't paid up either. All right, Kingfish, I'll drop down there some night. Wait a minute, I'll open the door for you. Much flies to you, Fred, much flies. Well, look who's here. Yeah, here come Amos. Hello, Hello Amos. There. Hello, Hello there, Kingfish. Hello there, landlord. How is you? All right. Well, the, the Kingfish has just come by here to see you, Amos. Yes, I just dropped in on my way to the store to see how you boys was getting along. Don't rush, y'all. Come on, let's go back in the room, Kingfish. Well, I ain't got much time, Amos. I'll go back a second. Uh, you want to come on back in the room of where I fit? No, you boys go ahead. I got, I got to peel some potatoes for the old lady. Well, see you later, Fred. All right, King Fred. See you later. Well, uh, let's get on in the room here and take off the coat here and kind of rest up a second. Amos, what is all this talk I hear about uh, Andy and Ritter Parker? Oh, well, I don't know. Sit down there, King Fred. Take off the coat. No, I ain't going to stay but just a minute. I better leave my coat on again, Amos. Well, I tell you, Kingfish, Andy's kind of sick today about the whole thing. He tells me that he got a letter. Yeah, uh, the, the widow read him a letter, told him that she was going to marry this man from Detroit. You know, I always said to my old lady, I said, someday Widow Parker's going to marry John. Well, I tell you, between the two of us, I never did think that Andy was going to marry her. I glad of it. Well, you know, it's going to take a lot of money to take care of that girl. On the other hand, though, I can't help but feel sorry for him. Well, what did the letter say that Andy got? Oh, well, he wouldn't show it to me. Well, that's the way it goes. Wait a minute, I believe I hear Andy coming. Yeah, I believe I hear him coming too. Don't don't say nothing to him now. Wait a minute, he's coming down the hall now. Well, there he is now. Hello there, Andy. Hello there, Andy. Hello, King Tate. Hello, Emma. Well, uh, how is everything, Andy? Oh, everything is all right, I guess. And the uh, number that he is all brothers in that great fraternity, the mystic knights of the sea. We must all stick together. And as the kingfish of that lord, I come to you in moments of distress to help you out. Yeah, that's all right, kingfish. Just don't mess with me now, will you? I'll see you back.
Anything I can do for you, Andy? No, it ain't nothing nobody can do. Andy, I is here to vote your trouble, and I want to tell you that as man to man, you is better off. What do you mean you done hear about the trouble? What trouble? Well, I done hear about Widow Parker. Him is what you've been doing. Tell him everything you know. I ain't told nobody nothing, Andy. No, no, Andy. No, no. Amos ain't told me nothing. You know, everybody around town knows about it, Andy. You know how a thing like that gets around. Yeah, it certainly is a mess, all right. I feel bad today. I know what you was going through with, Andy. Ain't but one thing for you to do, little boy. That's to brace up and just try to forget about it. Yeah, that's all right, Amos. Don't let's talk about it, though. Well, guess I better leave you, boy. I see that you ain't feeling so good. All right, Kingfish. I'll see you later. So long, Kingfish. Glad to come over. So long, boy. So long. Remember, the mystic nights of the sea, boy. Here's all stuff. Yeah, that's good. The mystic nights of the sea. A lot of help they can give me now. Don't you want to get something to eat, Andy? I ain't had nothing to eat all day, Amos. Well, what have you done found out today? Whether Parker and John Watkins was married today. And they've gone away on a honeymoon. You don't need to tell me. Uh-uh. They done got married already, huh? Amos, my heart is busted. I know how you feel, Andy. Brace up now, old boy. Brace up. I don't want you to get all down in the moat. Amos, you is the only friend that I got in this world, boy. She is gone. I thought she loved me. She told me she loved me. Told me she couldn't love nobody else. She told me that someday we'd have a little bungalow. I know, Andy. She told me that she was mine. Said that she would love me forever. Yeah, and it's kind of tough when you lose out on a thing like that. Amos, I've been doing a lot of thinking in the last half hour. A thing like that will make you think already. I spent every cent I had on her, Amos. I thought I knowed women folk, but I was wrong. The little Snookums is gone. She's somebody else's Snookums now, I guess. Don't cry now, Andy. I can see them tears in your eyes, boy. Amos, you are the only friend I got. I know you get mad with me, and I get mad with you, and we say a lot of things to each other that we ain't got no business saying. We say a lot of things that we don't mean. But Amos, I know you as my friend, and you as my only friend, boy. Oh, I was your friend, Andy. You can count on me, boy, anytime. Boy, a woman can suddenly make you feel bad, can't it? A woman can do anything to you, Andy, if you don't get the right kind. Take your head off that table now, Andy. Take your head off. Stop, will you, Andy? Come on. Pull yourself together now, boy. You got something to live for. Amos, I'll let you.